What is up, guys? You're King of the Night, Vince of Valentine, EX Turk, with another Final Fantasy video. And yes, I'm trying a new do just because I like the whole slick back hair thing. So I'm using hair bands, hair pins to slick my hair back. Tell me what you think in the comments if it's good or not, or if I should go back to my normal style. Also, this is also this is also brought to you by Lars Alexander Son S H YouTube channel for providing the Parasite Eve soundtrack for this uh video so because we're gonna be using parasite eve uh music for this one so let's get started right now so um what if noctis what if noctis fell off the train with prompto let me go ahead and equalize this you know but what if okay what if noctis survive what if noctis it fell off the train with Prompto. Now, this will change events so much. The one thing is, Prompto wouldn't feel so bad about himself or hate himself. You know, for the fact that they're on the same path. Now, Noct now Gladiolus and Ignis would still be on the train because they weren't attacked by Arden on the on uh, you know on the train. So they'd make it to Gralia real quick. They'd you know, they probably skip Tenebrae, so, you know, they probably won't, you know, they, well, I don't know, they might actually go to Tenebrae, just to meet with Aranea. Aranea gets Ignis or Gladiolus' cell phone, meets up with Tenebrae. So, pretty much, Pronto would get extra help than he's ever had in his life before. Not only he feel good about himself, because Noctis would be able to tell him straight up he doesn't think bad of him. So, they both make it to Verstale's Magitech uh, factory, or should I say, um, the the area of Gralia, close, the, the area close to Gralia, which is, would be Glacia. They, they both make it to Glacia. Now, they both will pass out, just like it did in the opening of episode Prompto, and they would both, and both Noctis, and right now, it's just going to be Noctis and, um, Prompto, they both smash through Magitech engines real fast, especially the fact that Noctis is there. So, not only you got Prompto's rifle skills, and Prompto would start using his Magitech uh, abilities like he has with his limit break. This will also make it even... Now, sure, he'd feel bad to do it in front of Pro Noctis because, well... Noctis is a Lucius Kylie, but Noctis, Noctis is a chill guy. He, he don't care about Prompto's past, you know. As a matter of fact, he's pissed off about what happened because he wants peace between the nations because of this. And and let's be honest, Niflheim is an instigator. Niflheim Empire is an instigator. The Niflheim Empire, they're instigators. They love war, and that's because they're demons. But, you know, Noctis would know the difference between Prompto and the Niflheim Empire instant. I mean, come on, Prompto is Noctis' best friend. He didn't start out as one of the king, uh, uh, king's servant like Gladiolus and Ignis, you know? Prompto was his best friend. The only true friend Noctis has. Okay. There is no... In fact, even King Regis says, consider them your brothers. And he was even including Prompto. But anyways, yes, they would march up to Verstale's lab, and and then knock, and then both Prompto and Noctis would get really angry, seeing a bunch of Prompto clones in a test tube, and inside of the you know, it's it's inside of the incubators, and Noctis would get mad. He would rage. He was like, "No, fuck the Niflheim Empire. This time it's gotta end." And they and then Arden will talk to Verstale, but Arden will Arden will be like Arden would be like this. Oh, not only your son's here, but looks like we got an extra unexpected guest. At this point, I'm pretty sure Arden will take care of the unexpected guest, so Prompto can have uh, father and son time. Cause Arden, for some reason, Arden does not want to ruin father-son time. Even though I don't consider Verstale the piece of shit son of a bitch he is, um, Prompto's father. I consider Regis as Prompto's father. Yeah, sure. Ted, well, it's kind of like the whole Guardians of the Galaxy thing. He may be your father, but he ain't your daddy. 
You know? I call Regis as uh, Prompto's daddy. And his adopted father as well. But anyways, back to the subject. Um, so that's what would happen. Arden would try to intervene with Noctis. Of course, Noctis being enraged as he is, he'd be stronger. So he'd be able to at least make one dent in Arden's face. Then Arden turns into that demon thing a lot earlier. His face turns all, Arden's face turns all demonic earlier. And then Arden was like, oh, shit, you saw that? You, and then he'd disappear. Because he didn't want, Arden didn't want to show that side of him just yet. He was waiting when, he was waiting until, uh, chapter 13, at the end of chapter 13 to show that side. So Arden would retreat because, well, Noctis knows too much, you know. And he didn't want to show that side of him right on. Now, Noctis would try to figure out, like, what? I mean, Noctis would know he's one of them, being the Niflheim Empire's Chancellor. But he didn't expect him to have a different demon form than what he's used to. Now, at this point, he's not seen Ravis as a demon yet. Or Idolus or anybody. So, Noctis would be completely shocked. Noctis would be like, what? Now, he would join verse. He would join up with, um, Prompto, you know. He would show, he, you know, he would show up with Prompto, and Prompto would have the trigger to verse stale. You know, and, and Noctis was like, Noctis is angry. Noctis is pissed the fuck off. Alongside, not only he's pissed off about the test tools, but he's pissed off that that he made Prompto's life the living hell it was, and is the reason why you know Prompto does not have confidence or believes in himself. So Noctis is enraged. But Prompto, since Noctis, okay, since Noctis is a all around good character and good guy, you know he'd probably convince Prompto not to kill Verstale, even though Verstale deserves it. Verstale deserves ten bullets in his head. That's all I gotta say about that character. But, he, Noctis was like, you don't want to become like him. You don't want to be angry like him. Of course, Prompto would pull the trigger and apologize to Noctis. Noctis would understand, because Noctis feels, because Noctis feels the same way uh, Prompto does about Verstale, the same uh, same way he feels about Arden up to this point. You know. But he's right. You don't want to become like them. You don't want to become warmongering, s disgusting, sociopathic sycophants like the Niflheim Empire. So, you know, but Prompto would shoot him. And, and of course, Doctus would be surprised and says, don't do that. But I'm sure Noctis would be forgiven about that. You know, even though, let's be honest, Verstel deserved more than that. He deserved more than that shit, after everything. Of course, before, be, you know, before, Noctis would read the notes and see all the notes of what happened during in the Insomnia and King's Glaive. You know, the King's Glaive arc. He'd see the diamond weapon and read the tapes and prompt, before the, Noctis enters that room, he'd be furious. You know, because his father died in that attack. And Verstel is the man who created Glocka. Because Glocka's pieces also reflect upon Diamond Weapon. As you see in the Kingsley movie, every time uh, Glocka got hit or something like that, um, Diamond Weapon got hit. So, you know, even though, yes, Noctis would tell Prompto to calm down and don't shoot him because you don't want to be like them. But you could tell in Noctis' face, he's just as angry as Prompto. He is just as pissed off. You know. But later on, he gets glad that Verstel was killed off. Because you soon you'll see why. Now, RNA would join up with them. And, you know. Of course, now Noctis knows RNA is friend and not foe. So, all three of them would escape the Magitech. The, all three of them, would, uh, all three of them would escape the Magitech factory, you know, 
and go on that one camping area. Now, Prompto would feel better about everything because he has Noctis to tell him there's nothing wrong with him. Of course, Prompto would go like, look, this is where I come from. This is who I am. This is why I hate myself and all that. And, Pro and Noctis is like, nonsense. You're a good person. You're nothing like these motherfuckers. You're nothing like these motherfuckers. And it's true. Prompto is nothing like these Niflheim Empire sickos. They're nothing, you know. Nothing like them, you know. He even tries to tell him, you know, you're not, he even, at this point, Noctis would tell Prompto, at this point, Noctis would tell Prompto that, you know, yeah, he may be your father, but King Regis is your daddy, you know, King Regis helped raise you a little bit when you, when you became my friend, you know. You know, forget this loser who just get, who, who, you know, who's your bio. Because, you know, he don't even count. He don't fucking count. And he doesn't. Verstel don't count for shit. You know, he don't. Verstel's a piece of shit. That's exactly what Verstel is. So, but he would tell, remind Prompto. And Prompto would be reassured. So, Prompto would also get stronger, too. Because he wouldn't be in, in such a depressive state like he is, you know. He wouldn't be in such a depressive state. Well, shit, I gotta change the music. But he wouldn't, he he won't he wouldn't be in a depressive state like he was before. So this will ch Prompto would get stronger. He would only get stronger. So that means you know, hold up, yeah, give me a minute. For some reason my phone's not working. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. But you know. At this, but anyways, at the, you know, Prompto would get stronger as well as Noctis. Now, they would go, uh, they would fight the ape thing, and they both, since it'd be easier now, since it's not just Aranea and, uh, Prompto, uh, Noctis will unleash his Lucius Kylian powers out of anger and defeat the, um, and defeat the ape-looking Magitek thing, the ape that Verstel turns to. And then they'd both face... Immortalis. Now, at this point, Prompto's gonna want Noctis and RNA to stay back. So, at this point, they stay back. You know? But any extra bullet attacks, um, Noctis will set a shield to protect Prompto and RNA with his armature. But, he would let Prompto finish off for stale. And then, just like the original events, Prompto defeats Immortalis. It puts an end to that son of a bitch for sale. Now, since they're together, you know, since now they're together, they defeated Immortalis. They're on their way. Um, RNA is going to evacuate more civilians out of place. Uh, you know, evacu take the evacuated civilians to La Stalin for Chapter 14. This time, both Prompto and Noctis makes it to Gralia, but this time they're stronger. This time, they're stronger. So, when they go up against Idolus's demon form, Idolus's demon form, like, how'd you get so strong? Since Noctis wouldn't be separated, because they would already be at Gralia, and it'd be just prompt, right now, it'd be prompt on Noctis, but they'd meet up with a group. Idolus would like, oh, in his demon form, he, 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 it froze from, he like, shit, how did he get so strong? How did he get so strong? Holy shit. Oh, I can't go up against that. He would try to retreat, of course, but Prompto puts a final blow to Idolus because he knows at this he knows at this point if he lets one Niflheim Empire member live, he knows how sick these motherfuckers are. He'd defeat Ravis too, even though he didn't want to defeat Ravis because Ravis was learned to be a good guy, but Ravis was stuck in a demon form. So he'd be stronger. Now he'd still go into the crystal. Chapter 14 would happen, the scourge is up. Uh, Noctis will have to defeat Ifrit, and Noctis will have to defeat Arden. But since he's way stronger, yes, he gets a boost from uh, um from Bahamut, but makes him so strong that it only takes a few hits with Noctis to defeat Arden. Arden and Noctis would still have to sacrifice himself, and, and th those events would play out. But Prompto would feel good about everything. He would never have any regrets at all. So this is what I think about this what if and let me know what your comments what you think would happen if you can add on the story or not so may the crystal be with you
Run through me with destructive force.